So I promise you a 5x5 five five matrix because I promise you um, higher than 4x4 four four matrices. Um, however, I'm not going to do it like in a video like live um, because I did it like myself. It took me a hell of time and I don't really want to make like a 30 minutes video just for this. Um, so I'm just going to briefly walk through this um, which I did at home on my own. Um, yeah, in my spare time. Because my it's fun. Anyway, um, this is a 5x5 five five matrix. Um, doing it the way I did it is actually pretty stupid. Um, the reason why it's actually pretty stupid is that um, this is, you know, a triangular matrix. So you can basically see that this is the main uh, diagonal and um, under the, the, the main diagonal, um, each and every value is zero. Um, and above, uh, you basically have a bunch of other values. So in this case, the determinant can be found uh, by just multiplying the members of the main diagonal. So this was supposed to be, you know, a pretty easy and straightforward exercise. Um, but I decided to do it um, in another way in order to show you how this can be done, how the, you know, the, the, the rule I explained um, with the, in the case of the 4x4 four four matrix can be done and applied to a higher matrix like a 5x5 five five one. So the idea here, once again, is to divide our 5x5 five five matrix in a few other um, lower matrices. So I choose this, um, this column here and this row and I went down to this row, this row, this row and this row by, you know, repeating the matrix. And what I highlighted um, are going to be the row and the column that are going to be ignored uh, by our next step. So our, and I wrote the checkboard. Checkboard is actually very important because you know it, it tells you uh, how you're gonna have to start. So plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, and so on. And since I choose, you know, this um, column for not particular, not any particular reason, uh, I also choose this one. So it's gonna start with minus. So it's gonna start with minus uh, one times. Uh, the number um, which is highlighted here uh, times the determinant of this other matrix. But since this other matrix is not going to be, you know, a 3x3 three three matrix, I'm going to have another matrix that I'm going to divide in a few other matrices and so on. So, you know, it's going to take a lot of time. So the very first value is going to be, you know, uh, it's a negative. So, um, negative 1 times the value I have here, 17, times the determinant of this matrix, plus 1, because we have a 1, times 6 times the determinant of this other matrix, plus, we have a minus, so negative 1, times um, negative 3, times the determinant of this other matrix plus, and we have a plus, so one, times five, times the determinant of these other matrix, so five, five, six, one, zero, one, five, 25, zero, 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 negative seven, zero, 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 three, plus um, negative one, times zero times the determinant of those other values are left out. So determinant of five, five, six, one, zero, one, five, twenty-five, zero, 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 negative seven, zero, 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 negative one. So I wrote it um where did I do it? Oh 
Oh, I did it right here. Okay. Um, so those are no, just a continue episode. Okay. Yeah. So it's this one here. So, um, I basically wrote it here. Um, and as I said, I did it myself. Um, so what I got are all the matrices that I was talking about earlier. So the ones uh, that came basically from here, uh, with you know the values that I'm not using. So zero, one, five, twenty-five, zero, 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 negative seven, zero, 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 negative one, zero, 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 three, um, which is you know it checks out, it corresponds and the other values i was talking about so one times six times um this matrix here why because we have a positive sign so positive sign means one times the number that i have here times uh the number of the matrix that i haven't highlighted and it checks out and so on over and over again and I basically got those matrices, uh, but I'm not actually able to compute and solve and find the determinant of those matrices. So what I had to do, um, and I wrote a sort of matrix, especially submatrix uh, in Italian, um, because I had to do it in my Italian course, um, long story short, I'm doing university in Italy anyway. Um, so I basically found those sub matrices, um, and I did the very same thing for each and every one of those, um, sub matrices. So this is my sub matrix one, you know, it's zero, one, five, 25, zero, 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 negative seven, zero, 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 negative one, zero, 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 three, which I got from here. Um, and again, I did the exact same thing as in the video um, I was talking about earlier. So um, I basically choose this, um, this column and I went down and down and down till the, the very bottom. I wrote the checkboard again, it, it, you, it's easy to remember, plus, uh, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, and so on. And since I choose uh, this column, uh, then it's gonna be, you know, this one. And our S1, I cannot write A because A is, uh, you know, the main one we're looking for. Um, but S1 is our determinant of our sub matrix one. Um, it's basically gonna be, you know, one because we have a plus sign times five, which is gonna be this number here times uh, the, the determinant of the matrix which is going to be left out. There's some values here, 0, 0, negative 7, 0, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 3. And again, we, went, we, we keep going on and it's always a plus sign. So plus, we have a minus, so negative 1 times um, 0 times a determinant of this matrix here of the values that are left out so 0 1 25 0 0 negative 1 0 0 3 and over and over again uh, for the the other two um so since those are uh, you know multiplied by 0 and 0 and 0 i just wrote a bunch of zeros here so um the only matrix i'm gonna have to compute is gonna be the s1 uh, it's going to be f so uh, five times one is one it is five so five times the determinant of this matrix here um, I did it with Saros once again you know if you remember uh, it's the first diagonal plus blah 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 I wrote a v I made um, a video about that so I'm just gonna skip this part otherwise this video is gonna be like you know 30 and something minutes and I definitely don't want that uh, so this is basically the uh, result of the determinant of this magic. We have um, zeros um, all over the place, so it's not surprised that um, it's at least zero. So S1 is going to be 5, 
uh, which was from here times the determinant of this which which is zero so five times zero zero all right so if I keep going on I have my sub matrix 2 I did the exact same thing so I choose this um, I choose this one and I went you know I choose this column and I went down and down and down again I wrote my checkboard and once again this is gonna be our s2 and our um, so the determinant of the solution of our sub matrix 2 is gonna be 1 because we have a positive sign times 6 times the determinant of 0 0 negative 7 0 0 negative 1 0 0 3 which are the number that you know left out plus is always a plus we have minus so negative 1 times 0 times the determinant of the values that are left out so 5 5 1 0 0 negative 1 0 0 3 and now it checks out plus and so on so on so on so our s2 since those are multiplied by 0 our I just wrote zeros uh, so our s2 is gonna be 6 times yes 6 times 1 is 6 times um, the determinant of our matrix here and I did it with Cyrus again and since we have uh, you know those uh, zeros it turned out to be 0 as well so determinant of our s2 matrix is 0 6 times 0 is 0 I did it again we with the uh, sub matrix 3 you know we shall be getting familiar with this um, so I basically divide the matrix um, again and I choose this column again um, there is isn't a particular reason why I choose this column over and over again and just you know um, I just wanted to be consistent but you don't actually have to choose this column as I said before so I choose this column here and I went down and down and down to the very bottom I wrote my checkboard I choose this one because I choose this one and our the solution the determinant of our uh, sub matrix 3 um, is basically going to be 1 um, because we have a positive sign times 6 times the determinant of uh, the values of the that are left out of for this matrix so 0 1 25 0 0 negative 1 0 0 3 there we go plus is always a plus negative 1 because we have a minus times 5 which is a number uh, here times you know the values that are left out so 5 5 1 0 0 negative 1 0 0 3 there we go plus and so on so again I did the same thing but this time I was only able to you know eliminate those two matrices because just two are you know times zero so everything time anything times zero is zero so I just you know eliminated them as I did before but I uh, still had to compute um, a six um, times one is six minus five uh, times negative one uh, gives minus five times this plus zero negative minus zero because you know it doesn't really make sense I had to compute those two I did it with Sarus again and I found out there are both zeros so it's gonna be six times zero minus five times zero is gonna be zero minus zero is gonna be zero and uh, at this point we're basically going to have a uh, continuing our sub matrix 4 uh, and I did it for the sub matrix 4 uh, of the you know the very beginning I started with and I did all over again and I found out that the determinant of um, even the sub matrix 4 is going to be 0 it is actually 0 so we basically have you know you remember um, where we started um, we had uh, this hay here you know we started with this matrix we had um, this A you know with the determinant of those matrices we divided in those sub matrices 
which um, are all uh, zeros. So I came back here, um, all zeros, so I basically have a, which is a negative 17 from the what I, we have said before, um, times 0 plus 6 times 0 plus 2 times 0 plus 5 times 0 minus 0, because all the determinants uh, were a bunch of zeros of the sub matrices. So a just going to be 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 and minus 0, and a is going to be 0. So this is, you know, the way, uh, a way to do it for, you know, a 5 by 5 matrix. But in this case, it was actually pretty stupid um, to apply this matrix because, you know, this is um, a, a hopper triangular matrix. And as I said before, we expected uh, the determinant to be, you know, um, the product of all the elements in the diagonal. And of course, it, it was pretty obvious that it was going to be zero because we have a zero here, which is gonna, you know, nullify all the other values. So five, one, five, and three are all gonna be, you know, zero because we have a zero here. So the determinant, actually, the easy way would be five times one times zero times five times three, which is, you know, gonna be zero anyway. So yeah, we did it the um, classic way and um, it actually, you know, it checks out, it, it's the same. Uh, so this actually, you know, uh, we verified that it's actually zero. Um, and of course, uh, the, 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 the reason why I actually showed you uh, this is um, that I was actually sure that it was going to be zero and I wanted to make sure and show you with uh, um, another method. Um, but remember, the, the thing that um, the, the determinant is actually the product of the elements in the diagonal, in the main diagonal, is only valid for um, upper uh, diagonal, um, upper triangular matrices and lower triangular matrices. So if you have, if instead of a bunch of zeros, uh, you had, you know, I don't know, even just a value like a one here or other values and so on, um, you really had to do it the way I did it. So this is why I show it. All right, I hope it helps.